For the last two weeks, I have been playing the balls out of Triangle Strategy. Now, although my first impressions of the game weren't really, um, I wasn't really blown away by it, over the progress of playing the game over my 20 plus hours of playing it through all 20 chapters, I actually began to really enjoy the game, even though it's not it's more of a visual novel of a game. The, the gameplay is there in this turn-based strategy similar to Fire Emblem or Final Fantasy Tactics. However, the game is more in the talking direction. It's more of a 70-30 split, unfortunately. Um, the balancing seems off between gameplay and just cutscenes and talking. However, there are many, many great characters and uh, a lot of story events and uh, deaths even that uh, took me by surprise. Uh, however, <clears throat> Triangle Strategy uh, takes place 30 years after the Salt Iron War and it follows Serano uh, Lord Serenoa of House Warfort. Now, of course, depending on your choices depends on what happens in the game, so I'm not going to go too in-depth, but of course, another war breaks out and you have to make decisions, take sides, and uh, just you have to make sure you're prepared for the ramifications of your choices. Um, like I said, the gameplay, when the, the game is playing, is like uh, is turn-based, like Final Fantasy uh, Tactics and Fire Emblem. And uh, there are side missions that are called Mental Mock Battles, and unfortunately they are really the only side missions that you have, and you unlock more and more as you progress through the game. And uh, in completing uh, missions and main and uh, side, you gain uh, resources and medals and you use those to promote your troops and upgrade them. Uh, you can use money and resources also uh, to unlock new abilities or extra health or speed or damage, uh, you know, damage dealing and defense for your troops as well, which is pretty cool. And new troops are gained from individual character stories. And unfortunately, they are they are cutscenes um, that you you the optional cutscenes, but they're cutscenes that you just watch and then you will get said character at the end of it. And there are also some side uh, uh, some of these cutscenes for characters you already have, which will unlock more um, choices in making decisions later on in the game. Um, now, the gameplay itself, when you are actually fighting, is really, really good. Uh, the animations are fantastic. There, you can use, um, you, you know, you can use magic. You can use bows, swords, uh, characters on horseback. Uh, all the cool stuff that's usually in strategy games is there, and everything there to make it a great strategy game is present, which is really, really awesome. Um, now, like I said earlier, in between the battles. Uh, you make choices, a lot of them, and you have to strengthen Saranoa's convictions. And obviously you're doing that by just cementing what choices are going to happen by what you say to people. Um, now, the strategy to this game, obviously strategy being in the name, and uh, it, the, the fact that the strategy is key. Uh, you, you know, utilize the high ground... Um, <clears throat> over enemy units, uh, certain enemy units are weak to certain attacks or magic or whatnot, some of them are resistant to them and there's there's just plenty of uh, options within the maps that you can that you can use, uh, you obviously have uh, characters like I said on horseback, you also have some who are on uh, like on the back of a giant eagle which is pretty cool, I've got an archer for that one and there's also uh, one of my favourite characters is Anna and she's an assassin and she can uh, she can throw poison knives from like uh, a square away so she doesn't have to be right up next to the enemy. Now, um, there is a lot of story, like I said, a lot, a lot of story, and it took, like I said, it took me a few chapters to get into it. The game does start off too slow, unfortunately. I have to unfortunately call it out on that. It does start too slow, and I had maybe two or three battles in three hours, and the rest of those three hours was talking. However, once you hit chapter 4, it all kicks off and whatever choices you have made before then uh, will kick into whatever story is rolled out for you. And then there are loads of really good uh, character interactions, story moments, cutscenes, like I said, uh, character deaths within the story. Um, there is no permadeath for your, standard for your standard units you use when you're fighting, so if they die, don't fret, no matter what difficulty you have it on, at this present moment in time, there is no permadeath. They may add that in as an optional uh, hard, extra hard mode later on, but at the, as it stands at the minute, they, they're just knocked out of that battle and they will be there again for the next one. Um, 
There are moments where you can run around open areas and go to glistening little things and collect items and talk to people again to learn more about your enemy or your friends and whatnot. Unfortunately, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's, that's, that's pretty barren. It's, it's not necessary, to be honest. I'd have preferred just more battles and more side quests and options for battling. Um, but nevertheless, uh, besides the slow starts and the, uh, like I said, the, the in, imbalance of talking, um, I'd have to say that uh, Triangle Strategy is actually, it is a very good game once you get into it. Now, it's not going to be for everybody, so just prepare yourself for that one. There is a demo that you can download from the eShop if you wish to give that a whirl. Um, but, like I said, after going through it, I absolutely love the game. And I went through it on easy mode, and it was challenging then, so God knows what it's like on hard mode. But thank you very much for watching this review. I'm going to give Triangle Strategy an 8 out of 10. But it was an 8 out of 10 that was earned via playing through the whole game, not from first impressions or whatnot. Because like I said, my first impression of the game was, oh, this is there's loads of talking, it's too slow. But over the course of the game, it changed my mind and it is actually a very good game. But thank you very much for watching this review and let me know what you think of Triangle Strategy in the comments down below. I'll catch you on the next one.